Future is now in downtown Jacksonville. Just within the last couple of hours, Jacksonville has become the first city in the country to offer driverless shuttles as a means of public transportation, and you can try it out for free. Claire Alfrey is on your side right now, and Claire, it, how is the day one going for these new driverless vehicles? Yeah, Riley, I'm actually at one out of 12 stops here for Navi. It's JTA's first ever autonomous fleet shuttle system that's taking over downtown Jacksonville. And during this, this afternoon, we actually have uh, Greer Gillis. She works with JTA. This is your passion project. And let's hear from you. How has this morning going for the first ever public debut of these shuttles? Well, we're very excited. The launch has gone well. Mr. Ford was on the very first ride that went out at 645 this morning. We were able to get several of the vehicles out running. They're running in autonomous mode at, at different sections. We're explaining some of the detours that we've had to do, but all in all, it's been a great launch and we've been able to share with many people who have joined us for the rides. We're very excited about that because a lot of people have been showing up at our stations and they are getting on the rides and they are excited about the new experience and it couldn't have gone a better start. Right, so right now I know that you guys are operating Monday through Friday 7 to 7, yes. but we have a lot of weekend events here in Jacksonville. So, Greer, what is the, you know, uh, Navi's role going to look like for, you know, a Jags game, maybe a Jumbo Shrimp game? Sure. Well, we are 7 to 7, like you said, Monday through Friday, really getting everyone used to the service. And we're actually working with many of the partners, like the Shrimp, like the Jaguars, like the different events, Downtown Vision and what have you, really trying to get a sense for where we could actually show up on Navi. Don't want to get stuck in too much of that stadium track or what have you, but we want to make sure as we partner with all of them to come up with that opportunities where we can showcase not just the innovation, but really why we put this in place to connect people from one point to another so they can get the full experience of all that downtown has to offer. Well, thank you so much for joining us on First Coast News. We're excited. And guys, if you want to get a ride on the Navi for yourself, well, they're actually offering free rides all the way from now through the end of September. You can find different shuttle locations that look like, that look like this all throughout downtown Jacksonville. And like Greer said, it's operating from 7 to 7, Monday through Friday in downtown Jacksonville. Claire Alfrey, First Coast News on your side.